Good morning, everybody. It is 8.59, uh, Monday, 14th, I believe. I believe it's the 14th or 13th. Today's the 13th. God bless you in Jesus' name. All right, you guys. Um, it's not much to say other than, um, you know, most people are being deceived. We know a lot of people are probably going to be standing in line for a vaccination shot, if that's what they're told. <laughs> if they can get the whole world to follow what they're doing right now, then they can get them to stand in line for shots, too. And then those that don't comply, you know, they got a beast system, man. They can, they can easily set it up where it's through DMV or something, and who knows? Where if you don't get it, they're gonna have record of everybody that hasn't got it. And, uh, yeah, it don't matter. <coughs> We're getting so close to the end, you guys. That dream that I had where I told you it was like a glass house-like, where I ran because the person that I thought was my friend turned against me. And when I got inside, they were like shooting at me. And then when I got inside, I was looking out how they were wanting to get me. But as long as I stayed inside, I was safe. And, uh, and I believe that's where the Lord will have us protect us. And it's only going to be for a little while. But you need to have, you know, plenty of drinking water and um, dried foods, things that you're going to eat while you're in there. And just keep your mind continually on the Lord. You know? That's how it's been for me for years now, you guys. This place is dead to it. One only has to look out and you can see how they go with the world. People get offended because you're talking about that flag. I'm going to tell you something, man. They're going to be standing in line getting that shot. Whatever country they're from, whatever flag they stand behind. Most of these people in these churches even. If they're still believing in uh, the love of this country over the love of God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, this is where it says, come out from among them. You can't serve two masters. It's definitely a second, another master. You don't want to be a part of it. People have no idea what's about to happen. This is it, you guys. We're at the very end. It's just going to daily get worse. I, myself, I'm looking forward to the end of this. I'm tired of it. Even coming down here, I'm tired of uh, coming down to this place. I got to call up, see if I can get more data for my uh, internet up top. Then I'll just try to keep my videos down to five, ten minutes and uh, load them up right there instead of coming down here. Anyhow, you guys. <laughs> Those that say faith and grace and nothing else, does it sound like they keep the commandments of God and their testimonies of Jesus Christ? If not, then they're anti-Christ. Okay? The enemy is very uh, defective. Uh, deceit, deceiving and that's how they'll do it you know they'll seem to have an appearance of godliness and be keeping you so excited that you never even notice that they're um, they're antichrist but you're going to be thinking that you know when they say faith and grace and nothing else it's coming for us anytime church you know who's coming for you anytime satan you know, who are you talking about? But they keep people so excited, you may not even know who they're talking about. And when it says Satan makes war with those that keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, and you're hearing faith plus grace and nothing else, does that sound like you're keeping the commandments of God and the testimonies of Jesus Christ? To me, it don't. You know, I know it's not. You know? It doesn't even sound like what the disciples taught. You know, this is the time we're in, you guys. You gotta, that's why it says, test all spirits. 
to me, they, they, they sound like wolves. Just like we're in Acts 20, 29. For I know this, after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flocks. Men will also uh, of their own selves, men will arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. And they're all teaching the same thing. Grace plus faith and nothing else, you know? Does it sound like the apostles? Not to me it don't. Can you imagine the apostles, Jesus' disciples ever saying that? Never, wouldn't say it. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah, you guys, we're gonna, you know, as Jesus suffered then, so will we. It's not gonna be, you know, we're not gonna be all bubbly excited. We're gonna be, you know, this is very trying, trying times. And we're gonna be seeing some people, it's gotta be a lot worse, you know. And I pray that you guys will be strong in these times, especially when you're seeing it's your own family coming against you. But remember who Jesus said who your true family is. And remember this, God knew them from the beginning, whoever they are. Whether it be your husband, your wife, or your children, you know, your mother, your parents, you know, uncle, aunt, it doesn't matter. Strangers, people that are be just not nice. Remember, God knew them from the beginning. This isn't what we think it is, never was. And in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have our Father, and we're going to have our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our King. The King. And we're going to all be brothers and sisters in the kingdom. We're not going to be like like what it is, what it seems here. You know, so don't be afraid of being, separating yourself from what you're seeing, okay? Be strong, okay? Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Matthew 15, 9, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines of commandments of men. You guys, Barry Scarborough, Tim Henderson, Chasey Bedell, um, they're all saying that, you know. Um, Todd, it's finished. He was doing the same thing. Uh, they were all like one group. I guess Todd's back off. He took his channel down again. Uh, we hope and we pray that he's seen the truth. I would have really liked it if he would have came on and and said that that doesn't work good to what they were what they're trying to do. I hope and pray that he's able to come out from among that. You know, we do, we hope that he does, you know, and we repent. We all have to repent of our things. And we have to avoid sin at all cost. You know, that's why I told everybody I've been living in celibacy. I've been living in celibacy because, you know, you're not gonna get in another relationship unless they've been married or just divorced. Or, you know, I don't need that. I don't want that in my life. You know, I just want to be with the Lord. I know this time's up now. You know, it's up. And every day, you guys, we're going to be seeing where things are going to be changing daily. Daily. And there's going to be hatred towards us, especially when they're all complying with the system and when you're not and uh, warn people, you guys, they don't want to be getting vaccinated and they need to come out from the government, stop following it, you know? This is important. They have to stop following this government system. Churches especially warn people. Look in the description box. I'm gonna have a video there for you guys to look at. You're gonna see from, it's an eight-year-old video where they were making vaccines that will um, get people's minds off of God, okay? To make people that are very religious to where they're not religious, you know? They're injecting them with who knows what, man. These are godless people, and they'll put animal stuff in you, 
Who knows, man? But uh, check the description box out. I'll upload that link for you to watch, okay? God bless you guys. I love you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.